Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. and welcome back to more of what if almost everybody died in Mass Effect 2 all right we're here on board with uh, the aged and renegade commander Shepard those eyes are just that's something else I don't know what to say but we just received word from specialist trainer that Dr. Michelle wants to see us. Let's see what this is all about. And as you may or may not know, have a moment, Commander. Uh oh, Dr. Chalk was died in Mass Effect Two. That's why we're here. Commander, there's something on the Citadel you might want to look into. What's going on, Doctor? A group of refugees arrived at the Citadel recently, flush with military-grade medical supplies and equipment. I cataloged our inventory. We have an excess of medical supplies for treating contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Exactly. Perhaps you could broker a trade with them. If I have time. We'll see. Please think about it. The trade would help everyone. A man named Tactus keeps them organized near the Citadel docks. The equipment they have might even allow me to enhance the effects of our medigel. Oh, well, we must have that then. All right, so this is the same assignment that Dr. Chakwas would give if she were alive. I See, I keep coming down here thinking that she's going to, you know, have a dermal regenerator or something for his um, scars, but apparently you're stuck with them. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on video. Yes, thank you. All right, so we're leaving Lessus. That's where uh, Samara was supposed to have been, but died. And I really didn't see Morinth. I mean, I've heard a rumor that one of the Banshees there was Morinth, but I never really saw the name Morinth. I, you know, maybe. If I look more closely at the video, I might see it. But anyhow, let's head here to the Minos Wasteland. And we're looking for these ex Cerberus scientists. It's a lot of S's. And this will answer the question of what if Jacob Taylor died? in Mass Effect 2. All right, um... Yeah, we'll just do our same crew as always. I'm thinking about a different, uh... Suit. Wow, look at that. Even more weapon damage. Let's go with this. Same weapons. Uh, we'll wait and put more points into incendiary ammo. Oh, oh. Hit the button too soon. I wanted to check my other squad members. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holding up out here? The intel's pretty damn slim. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive.
So that's him, our Jacob replacement. Dr. Weber, I think. All right, cryo ammo. Even for an outpost. All right, just keep moving. Moving. Stasis bubble, Liara. What do these people do to bring this down on their heads? Thank you. Stasis bubble for him. Carnage for him. Maybe we can flank these guys. Watch for it. James. I feel sir. Watch out, Liara. Excellent work. All clear. I'll check for survivors. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? All right. Let's, uh, I wonder if I destroy these now, will they be active when we leave here? All right, so. All right, she's dead. All right, here's this guy, this Jacob Taylor replacement, Dr. Weber. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy has been cleared. Open the door. Why should I trust you? I'm here to help, obviously. Commander Shepard worked for Cerberus. Look, your friend here is going to bleed out. I'm what's standing between you and a Cerberus shotgun. So open the damn. Take cover! Whoa, what? This is different. Stasis bubble, Liara? We waited too late. <laughs> Carnage. Scout, grenade. Uh oh, I hope this guy doesn't get blown up because he can't move. Like a little adrenaline rush. Hey, I'm on your side. Open the door. How badly are you hurt? What about the others? No one else made it. Cerberus brought the big guns. You're lucky I got here when I did. Dr. Bryn Cole. Uh, sorry about earlier. I had to be sure. You understand. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Running took guts. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. <laughs> we took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. We clearly underestimated his resolve. Time to evacuate. I agree. But our AA guns on the roof have gone offline. Cerberus might be jamming them. Without those guns, Cerberus will blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. I'll take a look. Thank you. I'll check to see if it's the network link. Then I'll meet you upstairs. All right. Well, that Dr. Weber didn't offer to try to fix the stuff. I mean, he's, he's no Jacob Taylor. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. All right, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, and here he is, Dr. Gavin Archer. Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. Something like that. Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we both crossed the elusive man in our own way. Ah, so it seems that the person that made this save did not play the Overlord DLC. They don't even know each other. Huh. So let's ask him, why did he come here? How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. There's a big difference between sacrifice and murder. Hmm. So you ran. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign. <laughs> a man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. You work for Cerberus? What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by degrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. What happened? How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them, until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. You're saying he could speak directly with the Geth? It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage of information. It drove him insane. Hmm. Did he have a choice? Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless. First. Yes. You forced your own brother to do that? It all seemed Believe harmless. me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. We finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. Mm. Okay, so David did not get taken to Cerberus or Grissom Academy. He died in a bombardment. Wow, I tell you the differences. Okay, well that's it. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. Well, this guy certainly suffered enough. That's, that's a bit much. Alright. <laughs> certainly paid for his mistakes. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, I almost feel sorry for him now. I mean, I couldn't stand him in Overlord, but that's terrible. Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? Forty-three. Plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Holy shit. <laughs> Why would you bring families? 
So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. We can't let that distract us. We only get one shot at this, so people better pay attention and fall in line. Absolutely. Dr. Cole? Harley, what did you find out? Can't tell. I only know I can't fix it from here. What do you need me to do? Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Access is on the roof. I'm on it. Radio me when you've engaged the controls. Be careful. Cerberus just landed up there a few minutes ago. Good luck, and thank you. Okay. Oh, whoa. What was that? Nothing? Oh, credits. Oh, let's talk. Since Jacob's not in the picture, let's see what she has to say about her Dr. relationships. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. Cerberus work? What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Tell me about your experiment. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. You escaped from Cerberus? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. All right, I should let you focus. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Interesting. So, it seems like she and Jacob were fated to be together because without him alive, she hasn't found another love interest. That's a little bit sad. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Let's see. So the guy's not even in here being treated. This is normally where we would talk with Jacob. As he's treated for his injury, his gunshot, the same one that this Dr. Weber received. Let's take these uh, credits. Is this... Yeah. Experience. Oh. Casa Fabrication Greaves. Okay, let's go. And I think over here there should be something, not here, here, but over here, here. Some kind of poison, tailored to Turians. Okay, let's just do this. All right, let's keep moving. I told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. Elusive man really wants these guys. Where? Um... Okay, I might be getting ahead of myself. Looking for the Carnifex. Here it is. a stasis bubble there carnage there and concussive shot Whoa. 
Now, didn't I roll back away from the, the daggone grenade? Really? Okay, next up, satellite tower. Apparently not rolled back far enough. Let's go. Oh, there's more. Where's my cryo ammo? Come on now. Stick with the program. Dr. Cole, satellite should be back online now. Yes, but the guns are still offline. You'll need to manually activate them. Get back to the front of the facility. More enemies in our path. Good work, Liara. I guess, how do we, oh, okay. Shuttles overhead. This way. They're dropping out of the sky. I tell you, these decapitations in this game are something else. I guess this game is rated M for mature, because, I mean, I don't know if kids should be seeing the heads coming off these guys like melons. Ripe melons. It's like a, like a watermelon. Yeah, yeah, so what are you going to do about it? Where's the gunner? This must be him. Alright. Oh, I can't get up that way. I keep forgetting how they designed this. Alright, let's go up this way then. got to get this first because the cutscene will stop you from doing any exploration later so it's shotgun spare ammo all right back up James more 
credits. What's this? Experience. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. I'm choosing James. James, repair this ASAP. Will do. Stay focused, Liara. Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. What? We got more down there, Liara. Watch out, there's another phantom coming. Here it comes, here she comes. Stasis bubble. Thank you. Is there anybody coming up behind us? Nope. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? Progressing quickly. Shuttle 1 is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? What's our status? Are we ready? Essentially. Of course, any extra time is welcome. Also, we want to make sure we don't leave anything the elusive man could retrieve. But we're ready to go whenever you say. Evacuate immediately. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shell launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! Frag grenade killed all three of them. Commander, Is that it? We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Clear the shuttle bay first. So we can Ooh, read the door. Save the landing pad. Take out that shield generator! 
Shoot him from there, Liara. Hear another phantom? We got it. Jacob was no more skilled than this guy. Out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you could do for me. I need your help against the Reavers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Good luck. And please. Take care. Wow. So, as skilled a soldier as Jacob is, this Hacking guy did here. the same thing. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. And if you could find some place to house the families, I'd appreciate it. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. All right, let's let these credits tick in here. Oh, we lost Argos Row. And we got minor colonial support. All right, Anderson. Shepard. 
I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. It'll take more than that. I'm glad it's having an effect, but so far hope hasn't been the thing winning this war. It's been blood, sweat, and more blood. <laughs> but a lot of these resistance fighters were just farmers and teachers a few weeks ago. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Good fish in a barrel. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. Hmm. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. All right, folks, and there you have it. What if Jacob Taylor died in Mass Effect 2? We get some unknown doctor that goes through much of the same things that Jacob did when he was alive. All except for the medical treatment. We didn't get to talk to him and watch him get patched up. But anyhow, interesting stuff. And we'll be back. We have just a few more what ifs to go. I'm thinking Tally, Miranda. Oh, and Legion. Huh, okay. All right, well, we'll see what happens. All right, this is Hill. And I'm out.